creativity is an addiction. Yeah, you're born with it. You're going to die with it. But along the way, it's going to tear you apart and you're going to have days of victory. But more importantly, there's going to be days where you need it to be there and it doesn't want to show up because it's acting like a two year old child. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Stream thinking is something that we all do. We just haven't been trained to utilize the strength of what it is to be a stream thinker. Now, we'll say things off the cuff. We'll, we'll list whatever's happening. We'll let it we'll let it go. But learning to work it as a tool is the one place where a lot of us don't grow. And the reason why is because sometimes what we say can be taken wrong or other people, they, they go, oh, that's just not a good idea. So all of a sudden, we feel like we're being shamed for stream thinking. But once again, as a tool, it can become something very powerful in your personal life. Stream thinking is being in the power of now and trusting what being here in this moment can really do for you. It's learning to trust free form writing. And here's how you practice one page a day. Just 10 minutes to write. You've got 10 minutes, right? You can't edit it, though. You can't write a sentence and then go back and edit it. You have 10 minutes to be very faithful to that page. And you're going to have plenty of time to talk about it in the end. And we're going to demonstrate that today. But your best decisions are made right now. But if you're thinking about your past or you've put yourself too far in the future, you're not stream thinking. You've got to learn how to own your own leadership. This is stream thinking. Today, we're reading from May 1st, 2022. Rituals versus Habits. They are not the same. A ritual is something done to prepare for action, while a habit is something done repeatedly for the purpose of performing the action itself. This is worth breaking down. Preparing for action, now taking on the purpose of performing the action. The words prepare and perform are huge in my own personal life. I don't perform anything unless I have prepared for it. That's who I am as a broadcaster. But away from those things... How does prepare and perform come into play? Now, okay, I'll give you a good example. Every Sunday, I'm doing my spiritual studies. I prepare for the day by clearing the way for the present to be in my place of studies. The performance is based on the actual activation of what was learned while I was in those studies. For the habit to happen, there needs to be a ritual. Now, the question is, mentally, is it healthy to work them both? That's a tough cookie. Rituals versus habits. I've often accused myself as being a daily writer by way of habit, not necessarily by ritual. Habit because I have done it every day since July of 1994. That's a habit. But in reality, when you go into the pages and you really start studying the words that do flow by way of stream thinking, then you go, wait a second. It's more of a ritual than it is a habit because the ritual has a deeper meaning, whereas a habit, you just do it just to do it. And and that sort of writing stopped a long time ago. That was you could go back to, let's say, 1996 and you'll probably go, yeah, this he writes like it's a habit. But as you get closer and closer to the new millennium, as I matured as a daily writer, all of a sudden you begin to realize that the way you think, the way you act, the way that you do things with others is more of a ritual than it is a habit. And so understanding the difference between the two really does open up your eyes in the way of where is your creativity and why do you create this way? And sometimes people will go, wait a second, if I would have thought about that earlier, my habits would have been different in a production studio or inside a business and or company. Deciding what you want to do is a big thing. But we live in a world nowadays where what you want to do and what you physically do are two different things. So many people spend millions of dollars on an education that they're never going to use. And so now what's happened is, is a lot of people have backed off going, well, there's got to be something else I got to do because I I don't want to invest in this and I don't even get to do that. The way I look at my radio career is the same exact thing. I put 43 years into being what I wanted to become in Los Angeles, not Charlotte, North Carolina. But halfway through that journey, I realized I don't need L.A. to be where I have to be because my ritual was there's a deeper purpose to what you're doing in broadcasting. And it's not being a showman. It's about taking yourself into the community deeper and using your skills as a broadcaster to be face first with these people. So I fell in love with my community. Therefore, I couldn't leave my community. So the broadcaster in me, the habit maker, is the one looking back going, dude, you coulda, woulda, shoulda. Whereas the ritual person is going, you're fine. 
Thank you so much for being truthful to your destination. Something to think about today. This is Stream Thinking.